Good morning and welcome to Sunday School. Have you ever experienced a time when it did not rain for a long time? What happens to plants and animals if there's no rain? We sometimes have dry seasons in the Midwest where we live, but in parts of the Southwest, they can experience major droughts and have to limit the water that they're using. Now I'm gonna show you some different images. If you think the picture is something that will catch on fire, I want you to stand up. If you think it won't catch on fire, I want you to sit down. Are you ready? Let's start. Many things can catch on fire easily. Some things take a while. But what about water? Water is used to put out fires. In the Bible story today, a prophet named Elijah called on God to send fire from heaven. God sent fire that burned up everything, including water. Last week, we learned a new big picture question and answer. The big picture question is, what is idolatry? The big picture answer is, Idolatry is a sin of the heart in which we love and value something else above God. Idols can be many different things. Sometimes people may choose to worship a statue or other object. Sometimes people may love people's praises more than they love God. Let's say our big picture question and answer together. What is idolatry? Idolatry is a sin of the heart in which we love and value something else above God. All right, let's watch our lesson for today. When Ahab became the king of Israel, he was the most evil king of all. Ahab led the Israelites away from God. They worshipped Baal, a false god, instead. King Ahab's evil ways made God angry, so God sent a prophet named Elijah to speak to Ahab. Elijah said, God will send a drought. No rain will fall in Israel for three years unless I say so. That is exactly what happened. God caused a drought. No rain fell in the land of Israel. Without rain, the lakes and rivers dried up. People could not grow crops in the fields for food. So in addition to the drought, there was a famine. After three years, God was ready to send rain. Elijah went back to King Ahab. He told the king, meet me at Mount Carmel. Bring the people of Israel and the prophets who worship false gods. King Ahab and the people met Elijah at the mountain. Elijah said, make up your minds. If you believe the Lord is God, follow him. But if Baal, then follow him. Elijah set up a challenge to show who was the one true God. The prophets of the false god, Baal, set up an altar first and put a bull on it. Elijah said, call to Baal and ask him to send fire to your altar. I will call on the Lord. The God who answers by sending fire is the one true God. The prophets of Baal worshipped their false god. Answer us, they said, but no one answered. The people danced and cried out for hours to show that they loved Baal. Shout loudly, Elijah taunted them. Maybe he is sleeping. Still no answer. Then Elijah set up an altar, dug a trench around it, and put a bull on it. Elijah told the people to pour water on the altar so that everything was wet. Then Elijah prayed, Lord, answer me so that these people will know that you are God. Suddenly, God sent fire from the sky. It burned up the wood, the, wood, the stones, and the dust. It dried up the water in the trench. When the people saw this, they fell face down and said, The Lord, He is God. The Lord, He is God. Soon the sky grew dark with clouds, and God sent rain. The one true God is not like the false gods. We do not have to work hard to show God we love Him. Instead, He showed His love for us by sending His Son, Jesus. Jesus died to rescue us from sin, and he hears us when we cry out to him.
King Ahab was an evil man. He led the people to worship a false god named Baal. God tried to get the people to turn back to him by sending a drought. After three years, God sent Elijah to Ahab to show the people that Baal was no god at all. The false prophets cried out to Baal to send fire on the altar. Did Baal answer the false prophets? No. A statue has no ears and cannot speak. It is a worthless idol. Who did Elijah cry out to and ask to send fire? Elijah cried out to the one true God. After Elijah drenched the altar in water, God sent fire from heaven that burned up everything on, the wall, on that altar, including the water. Then everyone knew that there was only one God. God was able to hear the cry of Elijah and send fire from heaven. Through God's powerful act, the people's hearts were turned back to him. Our hearts should love God more than anything else. God made us and loves us. God sent his son Jesus to die for our sins. All right, now let's watch Questions from Kids. Hi there, I'm Pastor Kevin. It's time for Questions from Kids. Ivan from Chilla Vista, California asks, Are there prophets today? Oh, Ivan, that's a really good question. Well, the short answer is no. There are no longer prophets today. Prophets were really significant for the building up of God's kingdom, for informing God's people with threats and with warning, and even for giving threats and warning to the unbelievers around God's holy and called and right people. Now, prophets told us of the coming Messiah. Prophets also told us of God's judgment. However, when Christ came, the scripture tells us that Christ came and fulfilled everything that the prophets had proclaimed. And so in Christ, we see the fulfillment of all the prophets who are required to say to all of God's people. In Ephesians chapter four, we read that prophets and apostles and teachers are good for the building up of God's church. And so the prophets are good for us to read and good for us to understand and good for us to study. However, in Hebrews chapter one, God in his holy true word tells us that in these last days, he no longer speaks through prophets, but he has spoken to us through his son, Jesus Christ. And that's a marvelous gift that God would send his son, Jesus Christ, to speak to us. And we get to read of God in his holy, true, and infallible word. So, no, we no longer need prophets to talk to us and to speak to us because we hear from God in his word. If you want to hear from God, you must read his word and he will speak to you. Can you think of a time when God spoke to you through his word? Are there prophets today? Can you think of a time when God spoke to you through his word? All right, let's look up our key passage. It's Deuteronomy chapter six, verses four through five. Go get your Bibles. Okay, I have my daughter's Bible here, so it's a little bit different than the one I usually use. But we're gonna look up Deuteronomy and it's in the Old Testament right there and on her Bible it's on page 193 so we'll turn to that page Oops. that's where Deuteronomy starts for her and now we're gonna look for chapter 6 so there's the big number chapter 1 and we need to find number 6 we'll turn a couple pages there's chapter 3 Chapter four, five, one more page. There's chapter six right here. See the big six? Now we need verses four through five, so we're gonna look for the tiny little number four, which is right there. 
It says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your might. God loved us so much that he sent his one and only son, Jesus, to die for our sin. We can love God because he first loved us. Only God is the one true God. Only God deserves to be loved more than anything. All right, would you pray with me? Dear God, thank you for sending your son, Jesus. We do not deserve the love and forgiveness that you have given us. Thank you for the unearned gift of salvation. Help us to love you above all else. Amen. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye.